Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, we are in the F-15 Eagle today. We're going to be scrambling. Okay, we're clear to taxi here. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Got some Blackhawks. Uh, you can see we just came out of our little QRF bunker there. Uh, we got some C5 Galaxies off in the distance unloading. We have a C5 Galaxy that's airborne still, uh, very far away, and we need to form... Oh wow, look at that. Not that guy. That guy's already here. <laughs> There's another C5 way out there, and he is in danger of being intercepted by six incoming North Korean MiG-29s. So we're going to get over there and make sure he's okay and uh, take down any threats in that area. So here we go, we're rolling now, and uh, we're gonna get airborne here. And once we're airborne, we'll go find that uh, C5 and form up with him, make sure he's okay. Uh, worth mentioning that I'm carrying the Amram Deltas, the AIM-120Ds. So we're going to be doing some damage here today. Uh, a lot of these helicopters flying over runways and stuff. <laughs> Not great. Uh, but it's fine. They left my runway clear. So we're airborne. Let's go ahead and get up there. Show off the complete dominance of the F-15 here. Uh, looking good. Let's climb up to about 20,000 feet. That's where he's going to be. Uh, he should be around here. Oh, there he is. Look at that. That's him right there. And what we'll do is form up with him, let him know that we're here and he's not alone. And uh, then we'll peel off and take care of these MiGs. Single F-15 should be very capable of doing that exact mission, you know, taking care of those MiG-29s. Uh, uh, I'm going to warn you guys right now, what I'm going to be doing to these MiG-29s with this F-15 is uh, <laughs> not for you if you have a weak stomach. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Formed out with this guy here. Uh, we're off on his left side, saddled on his left. So if he looks over here, he'll see us. Uh, you know, it's comforting for him just to know he's not alone. And let's cross to his other side and then we'll peel off because that's the direction we need to go anyway. Start moving under. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Don't want to crash into him. A giant aircraft, eh? The C-5 Galaxy. This thing is massive. It's so big. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Caught admiring that thing. Very cool. Uh, we're gonna we're heading the right direction now. No AWACS, so we got to use our own radar. Let's go ahead and drop tanks so we can get fast and uh, climb high.
And so one of the reasons that we don't have AWACS in this scenario is because I want to show off the capabilities of the uh, Eagle here. You can see we are Mach 1.14 right now, climbing through 21,000 feet. And we're going to be using our own radar. You know, the F-15 is famous for having an absolutely powerful radar. Uh, one of the few aircraft where the track while scan is actually, you know, somewhat reliable here. Uh, we're going to punch it out here. Look at this. We're going to put it to track while scan, TWS. We'll punch it out and uh, we'll see if we can find those MiGs. Uh, should be coming up uh, any minute now. Now, as we climb here, it's going to be very important that we get very fast. The faster you are, uh, the faster that missile will come off the rail, obviously, right? Like if you're going Mach 1.4, that missile is going to come off the rail at Mach 1.4, which means it's going to dramatically increase the distance. The faster you are, the greater the range of your missiles, basically. So that's why we're trying to get super fast. which is also one of the reasons why I dropped the tanks. Uh, we want to get less drag. And again, with being fast, we also want to be very high. Uh, these are two things that the F-15 does very well, especially the fact that it's not limited by the amount of fuel it carries compared to like an F-16 or something like that. We're carrying much more fuel, so you can get much more comfortable with coming up high and getting very fast, right? Uh, which is like the parameters you're going to need for a good missile launch. And we've talked about other radars that uh, aren't that great in track while scan. Like they, they lose lock. They're called, uh, you know, uh, we've made a little joke, track while lose, that kind of thing. Uh, the F-15 can hold a very good lock. Here we are at Mach 1.3 almost. So that's very good. 36,000 feet at Mach 1.3. That's pretty decent. Uh, got these guys on radar. We're going to take the far left bandit here because I'm going to defend left and we're going to work our way from left to right killing these guys. Uh, we got him at 80 miles. I'm going to put my nose onto him. Mach 1.37. Uh, now I got these guys locked and I know they're, they're, the RWR is saying that their radars are finally hitting me, but I promise you I'm not showing up on their radar just yet. Uh, we had them locked at 80 miles. Uh, they're trying to lock me now. I had them locked at 80 miles and I could have shot the AMRAM Delta way back then, right? Uh, so think about that capability. The ability to see them, lock them, shoot them before they even see you on radar is pretty wild. Uh, these MiG-29s have R-77s, uh, just to make it a little bit more challenging for the F-15. It's not going to matter though, because they're barely going to get in range to shoot. Uh, right here, I'm going to shoot at this guy in just outside of 60 miles here, Fox 3. Mach 1.47. So almost a Mach 1.5 launch at about 40,000 feet. So the range on that missile is going to be wild. Uh, and the speed, like, good luck to that MiG-29 that I shot at uh, defending that one missile. I could have fired at multiples, but I just want to... Because th this was a very long-range shot, so I just want to fire one, just in case it, you know, the seeker has a problem and doesn't see him at this distance, or the battery dies on that missile. Um, but right now we're cranking, we've got the MiG off to the gimbal limit, you see how you push the, t the uh, locked bandit off to one side of your radar, that's the gimbal limit of my radar. Uh, and we are cranking, reducing altitude, and maintaining that lock, because we're providing guidance information to that AMRAM. And that guy is going to start defending any second now when that missile goes pitbull on him. Once it goes pitbull, that means it's switched over to its own radar. It no longer requires guidance information from me. At that point, uh, what I'm going to do is start targeting other guys and shooting more missiles. Uh, so we're going to start climbing and recommitting back into these bandits now. We're 35 miles out. And we're going to come around. That guy is now defending, so... We'll drop the lock on him, and we'll start locking up uh, three other bandits here.
All right, I got two guys here. That other guy's dead, even though he's still on radar. He's for sure dead. He'll fade here in a second. Got him at 26 miles. Uh, let's get this guy. So that's my third bandit. Looks like they shot at me. Uh, 23 miles, Fox 3, Fox 3, and Fox 3. There we go. We'll defend. bunch of them shot at me as well but that's why I went to the left so that I could engage from the left and go left to right you know and engage them piece by piece like a few of them at a time essentially I'm basically dividing and conquering these guys uh, doing it like this uh, tremendously fast as we defend their missiles and those AMRAMs are using their own radar now to find those three guys I shot at Okay, there should be maybe two or three guys left. I think maybe only just two. Uh, but you can see how the F-15 is barely breaking a sweat here doing this. And yeah, I'm getting launched that, but I'm so fast. Those missiles are not going to hit me. Uh, here we go again. Got them locked. Uh, Fox 3 and Fox 3 again. Those guys are dead for sure. I mean, at this range, 20 miles, and I'm so fast, like I'm Mach 1.1 right now. I was 1.7 at one point uh, here. Look at me, we're passing through 800 knots, Mach 1.3 on the deck here. There's no way that their missiles are gonna catch me, and for sure those guys are gone. I still have two more AMRAMs, by the way. <laughs> if anyone else wants to find out what's up. <laughs> 